Welcome back guys, welcome back. What a beautiful day, very windy, sunny, hot. Welcome to El Nino, I think it is, which is no rain, drought, and very hot weather, which the bushfires better stay away, but other than that, we're pretty happy with that because we've had nothing but rain, rain, rain in recent years. So we're hitting the road and we're doing a big ride. Hog 120, we're on our way. Adelaide is the is the destination. We are going to first stop tonight. We're gonna to end up in Wagga. We're going to pick up a surprise guest. So let's go and do that now and uh, let's chat on the road. Well guys, hey, just to digress from the video for two seconds, this is the new 2023 CVO Road Glide, finally arrived, fantastic, and this video is really all about the first three and a half thousand Ks, or about 3,000 Ks uh, on the new bike. Um, just wanted to jump in because we had, I had some audio issues uh, with some new equipment I'm using, but we'll get that right. Uh, just to give you a bit of a backstory, so obviously the bike uh, had been on order since release and uh, like everyone waiting for their CVO, they're sort of coming in drips and drabs. Uh, mine was really a photo finish uh, to, the, to the bike arriving to me departing on this particular trip. I literally picked it up at about five o'clock the evening before I left. So it was really push, push, push to the point where the bike was geared up and headed off on the trip with 20 kilometers on the clock. So it was literally brand spanking and then straight off to Tail and Bend in South Australia. So, so there you go, that's a bit of a backstory here. Um, and let's jump back into the video. We're gonna talk more about the bike, including a review, and we're gonna do all that sort of stuff in a separate video, but let's have some fun on this ride. Made it, dude. There he is, the man. I've just said it's going to be pretty cool down there in Adelaide, and I don't think I'm prepared for it. But anyway, let's see how that turns out. Yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway. Darkness falls, and we all pray, hoping for the light of day. Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river, down to the river. are running really well let's have a look at the new beasts there she is first time on camera and look what Jason's riding Brutus Brutus has joined us with Brutus's new owner correct see staying in the family a lot welcome back to the world of riding mate Oh, well, Matt, it's a Harley too. And it's a Harley too. He's got rid of the BMW and uh, he was bikeless for a while and now he's uh, he's back uh, back with the Harleys. He's had, you've had a few Harleys over the years anyway. I have. I've had quite a few. And uh, I was pressured into it. Well, but, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about it. I don't have much pressure buying fucking <laughs> Harley tapes. But anyway, but, uh, you took the plunge, mate, which is the main thing. Oh, uh, that's right. Because uh, once you're out in the open road, you, it starts flooding back again. 
Yeah, 100%. Uh, mate, it's, uh, once you've got it, it's in your blood. And, uh, and I'm just loving that Brutus stayed in the family, mate. That's the big thing. That's the that's the greatest thing. Well, that's right. You got how, a, far could you, how could you knock back a bike which is fully done? Well, that's right. Yeah, it's, that's it. So in position, uh, there's not a thing that's uh, needed on that bike and uh, mate, you're good to go. And, you know, she's barely christened with 10 or 11,000 pays on it, so, uh, you know, you're, you're good to ride and ride and ride and uh, look forward to some good vlogs coming up and we're just uh, heading down, uh, we passed through Yass, I think we are through Yass, aren't we, Jay? I think, uh, I think we might be here. Yeah, yeah, I think we have to pass through Yass and so we're sort of, uh, ETA to Wagga, it's saying about two hours, so about 200 k's, 210 k's, so... We've got, we've probably got another, probably hour, maybe an hour of sun, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, starting to get those longer days, which is great. That is good, yeah, we've got daylight saving coming soon. Uh, I think it's the first weekend in October. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's only a couple of weeks away. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah. only like two weeks away. It used to be at the end of October. It was just after my birthday sometime, but I think they brought it forward, so... But look at this countryside. Loving it, man. Out of the city, out of the open road. Check it out. I just love it. The open spaces, man. This is my, my happy place. Yeah. My happy place. Open road and doesn't get better than this. You can really smell the roadkill, can't you? <laughs> That's it. That's what it's like when you're out on the open road. You can just get that that waft every time. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the greatest of smells, but it reminds you that you're on the open road, so... Yeah. Well, we stayed in a place called Gungarland last night in Canberra. We had to digress, got to Yass. Uh, wasn't able to do much vlogging, it was bloody cold, the weather had dropped and we couldn't find a bed for the night. So, digressed, we had to come uh, about 65 kilometres sideways. Uh, so we found an apartment last night which was really good, stayed there uh, about 9 o'clock, bit of a later start this morning but we've got a big day, 650k ride today. Jace, how are you feeling? Uh, ready to go. Ready to go? Good stuff. Brutus is all rocked up. Don't have a name for this guy yet, but uh, CVO is ready to go. So nice sunny day again, a bit fresh and chilly. Uh, we're all geared up, ready to hit the road. Well, hey there guys. We're cruising on the road, back out on the open front. I'll turn this around so you don't have to look at my helmet. A little bit on the Hog 120, it's, um, you know, as we all know, 120 years Harley Davidson this year. Uh, so massive happy birthday celebrations all over the world um, you guys over in the states have just finished the 120 uh, over there in Milwaukee just before Sturgis uh, wish I could have gone to that that'll happen one day um, but uh, celebrations there and obviously this is our Australian version of this happening obviously I would assume on a very very much smaller scale but I'm still looking forward to it I think it's going to be really really exciting I think there's going to be a massive turnout I know the accommodation, hotels, all that stuff is booked right out and has been for a while. Uh, you can still get tickets to the event, day tickets only. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be cool. My first hog rally, never been to one before. So uh, excited to run into a few people. Maybe a surprise guest or two, we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, going to be good fun. And got a great room too. I got in early. Uh, when I booked and obviously none of that's sponsored, it's all paid for by me, but um, we've got a really good room. Track side, it is at a racetrack, um, uh, is where they're holding the event and uh, there's a hotel, newly built hotel on that track, which is pretty cool. Back out in the fresh air, geez it's fresh, it was very hot leaving Sydney yesterday. These blistering warm temperatures uh, coming through, sort of 30, 32 degrees for this time of year, which is very hot. But we hit Goulburn yesterday and I reckon at the click of a finger it just dropped about 10, 10 degrees. Uh, you know, a good 8 to 10 degrees, it just went bang straight down. And so, uh, yeah, we're sort of back into 
actually really nice riding weather it is it is actually a beautiful day for riding uh, fresh a little bit chilly but gorgeous clear skies so um, so yeah very happy about that and you know happy about that guys look at that you know the open road that's what it's all about as you know it's uh, the two lanes it's the um, yeah just my heaven my heaven I've got this full face on just because it is quite chilly this morning so I thought I'll just keep uh, it must be coming a bit of a soak as I get a bit older but um, keep me a little bit warmer and, uh, and whatever also the comms unit obviously you can talk a lot better you know I do still have to fill phone calls and intercoms with Jace back there and, and whatever so it's a little bit easier to talk with a with a closed face helmet on um, but definitely be pulling that off in the hotter weather of course and had it off for most of yesterday so so that's it this is our two lane road the down under two lane road you can see some cattle out there in the fields beautiful rolling hills quite green which is good to see I just thought I'd uh, clock in with you and see how you're travelling. Yeah, not bad. Bit, yeah. bit fresh this morning? It is, uh, it is certainly a lot fresher than it was yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah, pretty comfortable. Left the leather on, so... Well, that's good. We've just got to get rid of some of this traffic in front of us, Jason, and then we'll be good to go. Yes, well, I think uh, once we... Yes, which isn't far. Um, we'll have dual carriage away for a while, and uh, I think on the road into Wagga should be a lot quieter than this year. Oh, look, there's Stonehenge. Is that Stonehenge, Jase, on the right? You know, these Harleys, they just prefer nothing in front, right? But that's right. That's right. Cows look very happy in that nice yeah. green grass. <coughs> Give them a honk, Jase. Yeah. <laughs> did they wave back? They did. Nice. Nice. Just stopped here on the side of the Hume Highway in a little uh, village or town called Bookham. And uh, we're just getting a bit of fresh air, but I want to show you this really special, special. Check this out. This, this, this church, it's amazing. Check this out. How cute is that? That's the old Bookham Church, it's called. Absolutely gorgeous, see? Pull off. This is the type of stuff that I love. I appreciate all these, these beautiful buildings and scenery and, and things that we don't see in the city all the time. I think it's just amazing. St. Columba's Church Foundation Stone, blessed and laid in 1910. So there you go, it's got a few years under its belt. Gorgeous, they've got a little fire pit around there. For residents and guests. Bird up there singing away. <laughs> so cool. We're going to get back on the road. We are making no progress at the moment. That's how it feels. We've still got like 550 k's to go. We've been on the phone conducting business calls and doing all this sort of stuff. That's what happens. See, when you work and ride, we all do this. You know, technology. See, you can't get away from your office. Jason's on emails. Look at this beast, I'm so happy with this bike. Okay, so, Aspari? Amazing. We're back on the two-lane action. There's the road ahead. About 44 k's uh, into Wagga, which is great. And a nice warm coffee. That is in order. 
a nice warm coffee will go down really well right about now. So looking forward to that. Hey, uh, your bag I think you've left open. No, nah, you the the. Uh, uh. Oh, the top bag, the top yeah, bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. You didn't see anything fly out by any chance, did you? No, no. No, but it's, uh, yeah, it's sort of opened up all the way now. Bit of a race to the finish line there with the, um, the pick up of the bike. Uh, as I was sort of touching on yesterday, you know, thank you again. I can't talk highly enough about Tom and the team there at Northern Beaches, Harley Davidson. Um, from the bike docking to actually getting on the bike uh, it was literally uh, about seven days or eight days which is uh, yeah that's almost unheard of so um, you know, it's a great team effort thank you Harley Davidson as well um, they organised a special delivery uh, for that to happen which was great very, very good you know great uh, customer service and teamwork and, uh, and pulling that together against all odds. Meat pie, this is a good one actually. What did you get? Angus. That's right, are you copying me? Yeah. yeah, it's nice. It's got pepper in it too. This is all pepper. Not a bad fast food meal. Might warm us up a bit too, Jace. Filled up and we are ready to hit the road now. Talk about funny town names. This little BP we pulled into. Got some fuel and it's called Gumley Gumley. Gumley Gumley. Saw a bunch of Harleys heading off to uh, looks like Hog. You there, mate? Oh. Yeah, so uh, what's your view on the uh, good old Hay Plains? You reckon it's going to be pretty bloody windy and gusty along those plains or what? Well, I hope not. Uh, seems to be, the wind seems to be up and down a bit actually. Yeah. Better than be, what do they say, a shit day on the bikes, better than a good day in the office. Yeah, well, that's wrong. All right, well, I look forward to following you and looking at your ass for the next couple of hours. <laughs> and those sexy lights on Brutus. Well, we're just cruising down through in between Narandra and Hay, and uh, we're coming into Hay in about 40 kilometres. Maintaining a pretty solid speed out here. And just to show you what's out here, that's what's out here, it's like desert with no sand, it's just grass. Absolutely nothing. Um, it's going to get very fresh. pulling into the service station there we go we've got some V power here cool 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 all right so here's the lowdown we're going to um, we're actually going to call it here in hay we're not going to kick on um, it's actually getting quite cold. It's dropped to 15, so getting a bit chilly, and uh, I don't think it's the uh, I don't think it's the safest thing to do to be doing the hay plains in the dark. 
so I don't really want to uh, be silly and take those risks I think there's no need we'll just um, get, a, get an early start and then rock it off in the morning so we'll see you at the hotel we're going to put some fuel we'll worry about some dinner and as you can see sun's going down we've probably got about 20 minutes of daylight left I would say so it's probably a smart decision so go yeah oh man look at that palm tree beautiful it was only 2000 a night yeah! Robo, how many k's we got on this thing uh 225,000 for vip buddy? vip buddy yeah in there for vip this sign says VIP parking. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Welcome to Canhog. <laughs>